Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to introduce the Oracle Schema Compare tools and also show how to generate SQL deployment scripts from Visual Studio. If you'd like to try out what you'll see here today, uh, go to the Oracle.NET Developer Center at the URL on your screen and download the ODT with ODAC package. You'll need to install Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio. We do have a quick start video on our YouTube channel that can help you do that. We support most Visual Studio versions and we support all Visual Studio editions except for Express Edition. Uh, and of course you will need access to an Oracle database. So schema compare tools allow you to compare two schemas that are in either the same database or in different databases and it allows you to visually inspect the differences and also generate a diff script for deployment purposes. You can do reverse schema compare to generate rollback scripts and you can compare down to the granularity of individual schema types such as comparing all tables or all packages etc. So the typical use case is um, a development shop has a development database and they have a production database and as you work on a new version of your application the development schema evolves to meet the needs of that application and then along the way you use schema compare tools to inspect what has changed such as PL SQL uh, package changes um, and then you use schema compare to generate a diff script which is then deployed along with your application and is run against the target database to bring it up to the level that the application expects. So let's uh, do a demo of a schema compare. Okay, we're back in Visual Studio again, and since I've installed Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio, you can look up in Server Explorer and you can see I've got two databases available to me, a development instance and a production instance. Now right now, these are identical. I haven't started working on the next version of my app yet, but we can run Schema Compare, which is a menu item hanging off of one of the connections to prove that they're identical. So we just fill in the, um, the source and target and run it. And quickly we see that they are indeed identical. Now we start working on our application. So let's quickly create a new project for our application, uh, just a console application. And now what we're going to do is add to the solution a Oracle database project to maintain our scripts. So if you go to the Oracle section of Add New Project and click Oracle Database Project, uh, it will then ask you uh, if you're going to default to a particular database, which one do you want to run it on? We'll say production. And now we have a storage place for any scripts that we generate. Now, as we're working on our application, as it changes, we may realize that we need to um, get some additional information from a table that's not currently stored there. So in this case, the job history table, we want it to contain um, an employee's birthday. So what we'll do is we'll run the table designer and we'll add a birthday column so that we can use it in our application. So data type of date and save it and then you can see in Server Explorer that it will show up now as part of the table. And then further as we're developing our app and a PL SQL associated that we realize that the add job history stored procedure also has a dependency on this table. So we need to go in there and we need to modify this to add the ability to check the, the birthday column. So we'll type in um, an additional parameter to this procedure and then we'll modify the insert clause inside of the procedure um, to allow for the birthday and then we'll compile it and then we need to check the output window just to make sure it compiled successfully, which it did. 
And with that, we've made all the changes that our application needs uh, from the database. Now, what if we want to visualize uh, the changes uh, that have been made by us or other developers in our team? So we can run schema compare again. And this time you see there are differences. So we can scroll down and we see that there's differences in the table and also differences in the procedures. So if we look at the various tables, we can see that indeed job history is different. And we can look even at the object definition to, to drill down and see precisely what about the table has changed. And we can see that the birthday column has been added. And you can also look at the update statement that would need to be made to bring the production database up to the level of the development database. So similarly, let's look at the procedure that changed, add job history, and you can see the two lines or three lines that I modified are now highlighted here in schema compare. So it's a good way to visualize the changes. Now, let's generate a diff script so that we can bring the production schema up to the level of the development schema. Now, you can see export to editor is an option to bring it all into one flat file, but we're going to send it over to the database project. Now, what this does is it shreds the changes into a single master script and then several detail scripts. So if you look at one of the detail scripts, the table changes, We'll go under the tables uh, folder and we can see that there's that alter statement. And similarly for the procedure, it just does a create or replace with a change. So now we can right click on the master script and say run on and it will use SQL plus behind the scenes to run this script and it will run it against the production database because that's what we want to bring up to the level of the development schema. Now let's check the output window to make sure that the script ran without error, and it did. And now the development and production schemas should be identical. We can prove that by running schema compare again. We can just press the refresh button. And as you can see, they are indeed identical. And this concludes this video. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at the OTN Developer Center at the URL on your screen. Follow us on Twitter, check out our other YouTube videos, and please subscribe to my blog. Thank you very much.